Hello, everybody. Um, we're on lesson 6.8, Write Related Facts. The essential question that you should be able to answer by the end of our lesson today is how can you write a set of related multiplication and division facts? Okay, and we are on page 249 of your textbook. So related facts are a set of related multiplication and division equations. What related facts can you write for 2, 4, and 8? And what model can you use to show how multiplication and division are related? An array is a good model to use for showing how multiplication and division are related. So let's look at this one here. Step 1, 2, 4, and 8. Remember, we're trying to show how they're related, multiplication and division. Use 8 tiles to make an array with 2 equal rows. So here we have two rows, and we're going to keep adding to those rows until we have eight total. So that's four, six, eight. So how many tiles are in each row? Four. So write a division equation for the array using the total number of tiles as the dividend and the number of rows as the divisor. So 8 is the dividend. There's 8 total squares or tiles. And the divisor is the number of rows, which is 2 rows. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. Write a multiplication equation for the array. Well, it's 2 times 4 equals 8. 2 rows of 4 equals 8. Okay, we can also use write it differently by having four equal rows. So we're still going to use eight, but we're going to have four rows instead of two rows. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we have four rows of two. How many tiles are in each row? Two. So now write a division equation for the array using the total number of tiles as the dividend and the number of rows as the divisor. So we had eight total. We had four row, rows, which puts two tiles in each row. So eight divided by two is four. And two times four is eight. Eight divided by four is two. And four times two is eight. I skip this step over here. Sorry about that. Write a multiplication equation for the array. Four rows of two. Four times two is eight. All right. So they, basically, let's look at this. We have two different ways of writing the division equation. We can have the divisor be two or four. We can also write the multiplication problem either with two times four or four times two. Try this. Draw an array with four rows of four tiles. So we're showing the related facts for 4, 4, and 16. All right, 4, 8, 12, All right, so we've used 16 tiles. So 4 times 4 is 16, and 16 divided by 4 is 4. Four rows of 4. Since both factors are the same, there are only two equations in this set of related facts. Remember that in the other one, we had um, 8 divided by 4 equals 2, and 8 divided by 2 equals 4. But here, there's no way of rewriting 16 divided by 4. It would be the same thing. All right, so write another set of related facts that only has two equations. So whenever the numerator is the same, I'm uh, sorry, whenever the factors are the same, 
you'll only have two equations. So like 25 divided by 5 equals 5, and 5 times 5 equals 25. So just choose a math fact where the factors are the same. All right, number one, complete the related facts for this array. So we have 16 total. Okay, so we have two rows of eight. We could also have eight rows of two. So we're just using the commutative property here where it doesn't matter which order you multiply the at the factors, you'll still get the same product. Or I could have 16 divided by 8 equals 2. Okay, so there's four equations for 2, 8, and 16. Write a related math fact for the array. 2, 4, 5 rows of 5. Okay, so 5 times 5 equals 25. 25 divided by 5 equals 5. All right, number three. We have three rows of seven. Seven, 14, 21. So we have three times seven equals 21. 21 divided by three equals seven. We could have seven times three equals 21, or 21 divided by seven equals three. And number four, we have four rows, and in each row we have two, four, six. So we have four rows of six. Six, 12, 18, 24. So four times six equals 24. 24 divided by four equals six. Or six times four equals 24. And 24 divided by 6 equals 4. So we, you should notice that when we talk about related multiplication and division facts, that the numbers we're using, they're the same in all four equations. So in number 4, we're using 4, 6, and 24. In number 3, we're using 7, 3, and 21. All right, number five, why do the related facts for the array in exercise two have only two equations? because the factors are the same. And number six, write the related facts for the array. So we have three rows of six. So three times six, six, 12, 18. 18 divided by three is six. We'd have six rows of three, which would also be 18. And 18 divided by 6 equals 3. Number 7, 2 rows of 7. 7 and 7 is 14. 2 times 7 is 14. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 7 times 2 equals 14. 14 divided by 7 equals 2. We have 3 rows of 4. 3 times 4 is 4, 8, 12. And 12 divided by 3 equals 4. 4 times 3 equals 12. And 12 divided by 4 equals 3. All right, write the related math facts for the set of numbers. Okay, so 
both 2, 5, and 10. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. 5 times 2 equals 10. 10 divided by 5 equals 2. 3 times 8 equals 24. 24 divided by 3 equals 8. 8 times 3 equals 24. 24 divided by 8 equals 3. Okay, number 11, 6, 6, 36. I should only have two equations for this one. 6 times 6 equals 36. 36 divided by 6 equals 6. If I switch 6 and 6, it's still the same. Okay. All right, complete the related facts. 4 times 7. Well, 4 times 7. They're, so they're saying the numbers we're going to use are 4, 7, and 28. So 4 times 7 is 28, or 7 times 4 is 28. 28 divided by 7 is 4. 28 divided by 4 is 7. 5, 6, and 30. 5 times 6 is 30. 6 times 5 is 30. 30 divided by 6 is 5. 30 divided by 5 is 6. Okay, number 14, we're using 3, 9, and 27. 3 times 9, 27. 9 times 3, 27. 27 divided by 9 is 3. Or 27 divided by 3 equals 9. Write a set of related facts that has only two equations, draw an array to show the facts. Um, okay. 3, 3, 9. So 3. Times 3 equals 9. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. And as long as the factors are the same, you only have two equations. 16. Use the table for 16 and 17. So clay supplies. So we have three items and the number uh, in each package. In clay, 12 sections. Clay tool set, 11 tools. Glitter dough, 36 sections. All right, so Ty has a package of glitter dough. He says he can give nine friends five equal sections. Describe his error. What is the correct answer? All right, so glitter dough, 36 sections. He has nine friends. So I would make nine rows. Okay, so nine rows, and I would keep adding to the rows until I got to 36. Eighteen. Twenty-seven. Thirty-six. So nine friends, each friend got four sections. Okay, so nine times five equals 45, not 36. There are only 36 sections in the glitter dough. Okay. He can give each friend four sections, not five. 17. Mr. Lee divides one package of clay and one package of glitter dough equally among four students. How many more glitter dough sections than clay sections does each student get? 
or package of clay, package of glitter dough for students. How much more glitter dough than clay? So let's look at the clay. There's 12 sections and there's four students. So I'm gonna make a row of four to represent the four students. Eight, 12. All right, and the glitter dough, I'm gonna use the same drawing for this because I could turn it, turn the page sideways and I'd have four rows of nine, right? Four students, nine sections each to represent the glitter dough. Four times nine equals 36. Four times three equals 12. So how many more glitter dough sections than clay sections does each student get? Nine take away six, three equals six more sections. All right, number 18. Write a word problem that can be solved by using 35 divided by five. Solve your problem. A boy does 35 push-ups in five minutes. How many push-ups does the boy complete per minute? So 35 divided by five, okay? Um, so I know this is the same thing as saying five times something equals 35. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, seven. So seven push-ups per minute. All right, and the last question, number 19. Select the equations that represent the array. So I have four rows of five. So four rows of five is 20. 20 divided by five is four. Five times four is 20. And 20 divided by four is five. So all four of those, okay? All right, so that's it for lesson 6.8. In our next lesson, we're going to talk about the division rules for 1 and 0. So until then, may the numbers always be in your favor.